perspective. You know that there are only 17 physicians in Congress and 184 lawyers. They actually, most of them, don't even have an interface as patients. So as 7% or more of the population is interfacing with healthcare, we find that, yeah, people have an insurance card, but then they don't have enough money to pay these high premiums. These right. It's, it's a disaster, right? So it why, is. so if you were in Congress, would you vote to fund Obamacare like the majority obviously has over the last right. five years? It's perplexing to me when on the one hand you have folks saying hey we need to repeal Obamacare when over the last five years they have voted to fund Obamacare. You see any problem with that? Well I do see a problem and the problem is we're giving a mixed message. If we're representing the people and the people are unhappy with a program, another government program, then perhaps we need to step back and say are we spending our taxpayer dollars wisely? I would think that most people would agree that we're not. So it's important for us to take a step back and look at what actually works. People were happy with some of the things like pre-existing uh, conditions that were uh, eliminated. They were happy with the fact that perhaps their kids could stay on their policies. You know, those are individual things, but to be able to accomplish those things, you really didn't need to make a huge government takeover of our health care. And that's what you've done. You've right. created so many barriers for patients that they're costly and they're cumbersome and they're not what patients really need. In the big picture, are you in favor of a limited government, a smaller government? Would you take a, uh, a, a scalpel to the federal government or would you take an ax? <laughs> well, you know what? There are programs that people may be in love with. But you know, just like everybody else, all the other moms like myself, when we have a fixed budget, what we do is we go and we look at, well, what do we actually need? And what is it that we may want to add in the future? And I think our government has to act the same way. We have to surgically, yes, remove the excess. You know, some programs are really nice. But if you can't afford them, you don't do that until later. Would you be in favor of term limits, self-imposed on Congress, or through a constitutional amendment, possibly through an Article 5 convention of the states?